character of Jack to just seem to me to be kind of a man who's sort of crying out for uh, f to to be accepted, I suppose, and to be recognised or to have his story recognised. And um, so, I, yeah, I immediately was sort of interested in um, because of the script, really. And then when, once I met Jim, I was um, even more interested. I just thought he was a delightful person, very warm and um, kind of quiet, but intelligent and, you know. Um, yeah, and, and sort of very excited about the idea of working with Emily. And I also knew that um, Daisy Wenham was involved as well, so it was, yeah, the, the whole sort of package seemed really interesting to me. Well, it's interesting that the title Oranges and Sunshine is something that Jack says that he was he was he was asked where as a child whether he wanted to go to Australia and uh he was he was told that if he did he'd live in a white house and he'd he'd uh he'd ride a horse to school and be able to pick oranges off the trees for his breakfast and the sun shines every day. So the title would imply, and that was the promise, that was the promise of the future, that was the sort of golden promise that these children were, were sold. And, and then in the same breath someone said to him, well you might as well because your mum's dead. The man I met, uh, um, his story is slightly different from the character in the script, but, but importantly very similar. So I kind of had to do a bit of, I couldn't take him as a complete template for the character. I had to just sort of think of it in, in a composite way and um, kind of pick and choose different ideas and different things from different areas. Everyone's story in this is full of emotion or full of unexpressed emotion. Everyone's story is really awful. You know, they've all got terrible stories. And, uh, and yet as an actor, and a lot of people are coming on just for one or two days, and so it's actually in one way, you look at it on paper, you think, well, that's a really big scene. It's a, it's a, like there's a lot of stuff in there emotionally. There's a big story in there. You've got to kind of understand that life and somehow bring it into that one you know, a day or one scene which might only last half a minute. And say, but you can over, you can over, you can, you can, I mean, these, these people's stories have been with them all their lives and they've probably, you know, as I've said, tried to express them and they feel and they've probably talked about them a lot. So in one way for an actor it's like a big deal, but actually for those people, yes, it is a big deal, but, but these are things that they've talked about ad nauseum. So when I was talking to, um, the man who Jack is based on uh, in Melbourne, and he was talking about his experience. A lot of it, a lot of the time, he was saying he he just felt cold and he couldn't cry, and he, uh, you know, uh, he was talking about these things in quite a matter-of-fact way. So I think the challenge for an actor and for Jim, as well as the director, is to is to orchestrate those, all of those stories in a way that they don't actually all become f full on emotional stories and so that the, the audience is the one who's feeling what's going on rather than the actor or rather than the character because the character in real life may not be feeling that way, they may be just saying that thing that happened to them back then that was so vile, you know. But of course there are times as an actor where those emotions and feelings do need to come out. Jim's been just really beautiful. He's just a lovely, um, calm, methodical, um, sweet man. And um, uh, Emily and I were talking about how calm and relaxed the set was and how easy it seemed to be in the crews, nice and small and um, we were saying how wonderful it was that we sometimes didn't know whether it was a take or a rehearsal and I think when you go was that a take it's actually always a good thing because it means it's sort of seamless between between just walking through something rehearsing it and then actually shooting it it all seems to have the same 
uncomplicated energy to it and that's what I really love about working with Jim and he's obviously intelligent and knows what he's what he wants and what he's doing he has a great empathy for the characters he wants to tell this story he's been working on it for many many years and he's just a lovely man so it's been delightful